Okay. Um, so here's most of you have um, installed analysis tool pack. If you were having trouble and you didn't want to raise your hand or, you know, for whatever reason, um, this is just going to walk you through. This is going to walk you through in both Windows and Mac, uh, and then also address some of the problems that uh, some of you are having using the um, t -t 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 -t, the browser version. Okay, so Windows first. Here you are in a Windows sheet. Yours will probably be blank, or maybe you did some stuff in it. It doesn't matter. Go to File, Options. Remember, in class, my screen wasn't as big, so I had to go to File, and then More, and then Options. But here, I've got Options as one of the things I can use. So here's Options. No matter what you had to do to get there, if you had to click on More and then Options, or if you just could click on Options, it gets you to the same place. So whatever you did to get here, you're going to click on Add-ins. Then down here, Excel Add-ins, Go. And then you can click on Analysis Tool Pack. Um, just check it and click OK. Um, Analysis Tool Pack VBA is like a Visual Basic extension, so you can like code stuff. Uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> That's like a super advanced thing that you're going to have to do on your own. Euro currency tools, if you do stuff with Euro currency, then you can take that. Solver add is actually kind of cool. We're not going to use it in class, but it's fun to play around with, so I'm going to put it on mine. And then to check that you have it, go to the Data tab. Now you have data analysis. Click on it, and it should look like this. Uh, and then I put in the solver, too, which just basically you can put in points, and it'll solve an equation for the points that you've put in. Like I said, we're not using it in class, but it's, it's fun, and I'm a nerd, so I have it. Okay, if you have a Mac, none of this is going to work for you. So instead, what you're going to have to do is go to Tools, up in your top bar, click on Tools, then go down and click on Add-ins. Once you get to Add-ins, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going to look for um, Excel Add-ins, click Go, and then you're going to select the Visual Basic. Or no, sorry, not the Visual, <laughs> not Visual Basic. You're going to select Analysis Tool Pack. Don't get the VBA one. Just get Analysis Tool Pack. Um, and then you should have it. You can check it in the same way, because once you download it, or whatever, once you install it, uh, then it becomes the same, so you can click on the Data tab right here, and you should have something called Analysis Tool Pack. Click on it, and it should give you basically the same thing that you saw over here. It's going to look a little different on Mac. Instead of being like long and whitish gray, I think yours is going to be like more tall, and I think it's a black bar that it has around it. So it's going to look different, but all the options are going to be exactly the same. Okay, what if you are having the problem of it will not stop opening in the browser version? So if it's opening in the browser version, you can't add uh, the analysis tool pack in not to the browser version, so that's a problem. But if you are having the browser version open for you automatically, that doesn't mean that you don't have the desktop version. It just means that for some reason, when you load up Excel, it preferentially goes to the desktop version, which is a problem. But you can get to the desktop version from the browser version. So what you're going to do is look for something that says open in desktop app. You can just click on it like this, open a desktop app. It might look like this. If you type into the search bar, open, you'll find something that says open a desktop app. I'm pretty sure that both the uh, Windows and Mac versions have a search bar within Excel. Not in the search bar that's in your browser. Don't do that. But use the search bar that's in Excel. Um, it'll look like this. So you'll have this this is my desktop app but if you have it in browser version it'll just look like this inside of a browser so don't click on your where you type in urls just click here where it says search 
and then type in open. Mine's not going to say open a desktop app because it already is a desktop app. But that's what you're going to want to do. And that should get you around the problem of not being able to uh, open up the add-ins. Because you can't open add-ins for with the browser version for some reason. Um, and then the last error that I saw was like an error opening up the uh, desktop version from the browser version. I have not figured that out yet. I really hope it's just one person. I mean, I <laughs> I wish it was nobody. And I'm sorry to the person that's having that issue. We'll figure it out. So don't worry about it. But um, it's also great that it's not a whole bunch of people. Okay. That's it. That should help you get it. Email me or Rachel Dong or Derek Cahill. Those are your TAs. If you have any trouble loading your data analysis uh, tool pack. Once you have data analysis tool pack, Friday is going to be like such a breeze. So that's great. I'll see you on Friday. Don't forget to do your um, first run through of the homework before coming to class on Friday. All right. Bye.